is consider this data uh, see uh, this the sales data is given the year wise classification and item wise classification is there uh, in 2005 28 unit kilogram of a 12 kilogram of b 18 kilogram of c and uh, 12 kilogram of d were sold similarly for the year 2006 and 7 See, you have uh, this classification based on two factors. You cannot draw a simple bar diagram. You can construct a multiple bar diagram. But instead, I would like to have a subdivided bar diagram here. Okay. So, multiple bar diagram can be drawn. But still, I wish to have a subdivided bar diagram. Among these two characteristics... I take a year as the main characteristic, okay. So, in th this year, A, B, C, D were sold, this much number of items. So, I take a year as the main characteristic. Before drawing this diagram, I have this table. See, I have written year and then I just keep adding. If you add this, you get 40, okay. If you add this, you get 58, and if you add this, you get 70. And for the next year again, I have written the given values. 32 plus 13 is 45. Plus 17 is 62. Plus 17 is 79. Okay. Here, 36 plus 14 is 50, 72, 90. So, I just keep adding. These values will be very useful for us to represent the data in a component bar diagram. I will explain you how. See, I told you I am going to take year as the main characteristic here. Okay. You, you may have a feeling that the item should be taken as main characteristic it depends on your specific uh, uh, matter of comparison I take here as the main characteristic see uh, um, the maximum values are here are like this so I think this scale will suit my purpose 10 units scale Fine. See, first for 2005, I should draw a bar whose height is 70 uh, units. First, the total here is 70 for 2005, right? For 2005, I am drawing a bar whose height is of 70 units. Over. And for 2006, I draw a bar whose height is 79 units. See the difference is 10. You are dividing it by 10 units. So each unit should be each small line should be counted as 1. If this is 70, this is 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Okay. See this small line. This is 79. Now draw the bar. And here for uh, the third year, the total is 90. Okay. For uh, the third year, you draw a bar whose height is 90 units. The total sales is 90 units in the year 2007. Now, you should show the sales of individual components inside this bar. Okay. Inside this bar, in 2005... The sales of A is 28 units. Okay. So here in 28 I am going to have a cut. Which is going to tell me that this part is the sales of item A. Okay. And then you should from 28 you should count 12 units. 
that may be quite embarrassing right a counting 12 units after this may be difficult so what you do is you just keep adding and you say up to 40 units it is sales b now it is easy for you to divide 40 then up to 58 it is c 58 is easy it can be easily located right this is 58 okay that's all so to divide subdivide inside a bar we have kept adding these items so that you can easily divide the components so the first component is 32 where is 32 30 31 32 32 then it is 45 45 can be easily located 45 then it is 62 this is 60 61 62 yes 62 then it is 79 already your um, uh, subdivision is there okay then 36 35 36 then it is 50 50 is here then it is 72 72 71 72 okay then it is 90 so it is 70 here 79 here it is 90 here okay so this is for the year 2005 this is for the year 2006 this is for the year 2007 so you have represented year on x axis and what on y axis sales in kilogram on y axis okay so the, the the basic the first component inside the bar from the bottom is for a okay let me have a unique shade for a throughout the data for all the three bars i take this representation as a okay and b fine and c and for d right now you let us have an index which explains these shades right see the star represents what the sales of the component d the dots represents what the sales of the component c okay and this represents the sales of the component b sorry item the sales of the item a okay right the index is over now you should write the scale x axis 1 cm equal to 1 year y axis 1 cm equal to 10 units so you have written that also <coughs> give a suitable title see here you have year wise and item wise distribution of sales yes so on in uh, in a bird's eye view you can say the sales of item a is very much high right in all the three years and comparatively the sales of uh, item d is low okay so in a bird's eye view you can compare things and come to the conclusion based on this diagrams okay fine thank you